Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this video, we are going to be opening January's Loot Gaming Box. So, Loot Gaming is a subscription service. It's the same thing as Loot Crate, just a gaming-focused box where you pay some money each month, you get a box in the mail, it's full of stuff that's supposed to be worth double-ish what you pay for it, in reality, the actual value of things, not MSRP, should be closer to what you're actually paying. I think it's okay if that's the case. I haven't found one yet where you're actually getting double the value, to be honest. But if it's equal, that'll be okay. Anyway, they're all themed. I have no idea what the theme is for this month. So we're going to see if we can try to figure it out by going through the items. And hopefully I don't spoil it by looking at the little card. If uh, I think I can avoid it. Anyway, let's just open it and, uh, and we'll see if the stuff's any good and we'll see if we can figure out what the theme is. And I have to say this because this is kind of like the whole point here is they send me the box. If you want to subscribe to a box, it'll help out the channel. If you don't want to, don't do it. I've never promoted these things blindly. I'll tell you if it sucks right now. Uh, well, once we're done opening it, I don't know. Uh, but generally, it's pretty okay. So let's see what it is. Anyway, there's a link in the description if you want to. It's Anthony's Customs. It's lootcrate.com slash Anthony's Customs. Everything I do with An is Anthony's Customs. So, And if you want to save money, you can save money with discount code Anthony's Customs. It's all pretty much simple, straightforward type of stuff. Okay, let's see what we have. Every box comes with a shirt. Usually, if the shirt is worthwhile, the whole box is because shirts are generally fairly expensive, relatively kind of, sort of. So... We'll see. We're going to save that for last. I will point out the box. They generally have some kind of theme. I mean, they always have a theme, but the box connects to that theme, and you can usually fold it inside out and turn it into something. This looks like it could turn into one of those things from that game I haven't played called Portal. It even tells you this time. That's a first. I've never had directions, I don't think. It tells you how to turn it into a Portal Cube. Okay. That's kind of cool. You might like a big cardboard portal cube. That explains why the box is big and square. So, all right. We have some things in here now. Let's see what they are. There are sometimes exclusive things. I don't know what this is. It shows some portally type signs. Okay, we have some cake. Looks like cake. Cake is a lie. I know that's a thing. We have a ball hitting somebody. Maybe it's a ball. I don't know. We have a guy jumping through portals. That looks like he's going to keep falling in the same one. And we have a guy drowning, maybe getting electrocuted at the same time. What is this? It looks like cloth. What is it? Like a pocket square? <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's a tie. Uh-oh. I don't wear ties. This is actually kind of cool, though. If I did wear ties, like I used to do back before I became a professional doofus, it's a tie with a portal cube on it, like many of them. And it's been ages. Do I know how to tie ties still? I don't know if I do. I could do a single Windsor. Can't I? I don't remember how to do a single Windsor either. Yeah, I do. I think I do. I might. Here's the thing, though. I have a really big neck. It's like 17 or 18. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear this tie. But we're going to give it a shot. There it is. Okay. It's a very skinny tie. It's a... Modern culture has people wearing skinny ties. I'm not the biggest fan. I don't like the big fat ones. That is such a bad knot. Wow, that is a terrible, terrible knot. But I tied it, so it'll do. It'll be okay. Let's see. Eh, it's almost long enough. I could tie it probably a little bit better. We're going to leave it on, though. That's okay. So that's kind of cool. You know, you don't often get useful things. Like, they often put in a lot of socks and things like that, which are fine. People wear socks, but a tie, this kind of tie where it's not in your face nerdy, <laughs> you could still get away with wearing this and not be necessarily labeled a doofus. Uh, that would be for other reasons, in my case. All right, next thing. Uh-oh, that's a Mega Man thing. I like Mega Man stuff. Everything's cubic in here so far. So this is a Loot Crate exclusive, Loot Gaming exclusive, Capcom Mega Man thing all right so that looks like proto man let's see what's in here sounds like cardboard i like mega man so this could be a good thing so what do we have so far we have portal main box is portal the tie is portal this is mega man so far i'm thinking all i can think of is science you know what that might be the theme that kind of rings a bell now <laughs> now that i've said that 
What do we have in here? We have a little black thing and a head. So is this like a little helmet display replica thing? This is cool, guys. I wish I had one for like Mega Man and Proto Man. I wonder if other people got other things. We'll see. They tell you about this kind of stuff in the little brochure slash poster thing. That's cool. I actually like that a whole bunch. It's a little helmet replica of Proto Man. It's painted with metallic red paint and green and white gloss and black gloss. And that's really cool. It has a little display. It says Mega Man on it. I like that. Hey, so far they're doing a good job in this box. We got the tie, which I could get behind. The little Proto Man thing. I'm kind of hoping they have a Mega Man one so I can find that on eBay. That's pretty cool. Okay, next thing. You get a pin in every box. Let's see what this pin is. This pin gave away the secret. It says Mad Science, so that must be the theme. So it's a little bronze looking pin. That's okay, it's got a brain on it. Usually there's some kind of code under the pin. You can go to a, the website and get free stuff kind of thing. All right, next thing is a Psychonauts thing. It says Loot Gaming. It doesn't say exclusive, but I'm assuming it is. <laughs> there's a disclaimer on the back. It says this item is not a safety protective device and are not sunglasses. What? How about, <laughs> I, now I screw up my grammar sometimes as I'm talking. I don't sleep much and I end up saying the wrong thing. But let's read this again. Maybe I read it incorrectly. Let's see. This item, singular, is, still singular, not a, singular, safety protective device and are not sunglasses. This item are not sunglasses, guys. Grammar lessons built into an unboxing video. There you go. Because sunglasses is plural, apparently, they had to switch it to R. I don't think that's correct. I could be totally wrong. If you, any of you out there are like an English major, let me know. Uh, I did not major in English. However, I have a strong value for grammar. I could be wrong. I'm not going to claim to be perfect. Ah, you know what? These are super silly and you definitely don't have a use for these. <laughs> but I kind of like that they're included because they actually look like real goggles even though they're clearly just plastic and are not sunglasses. <laughs> I'm going to see if they fit my head. Now, just like I have a big neck, I do have a big head. So large, in fact, I can't buy like a baseball hat at a normal baseball hat type of store because their hats won't fit my big melon. Uh, how do I do this? I've never worked a strap like this before. No, I have. It's just, it's just not... Uh, Go, oh, it won't go. Whatever, that'll do. So let's try it out. It's it's very stretchy, so it's got to fit. No, well, they don't fit perfectly. They're a little pinchy in the nose region. Oh my goodness, everything is bright orangey red now. I wish I'd opened these first. I could have done the whole video like this. I have to go to the eye doctor on Monday. I should go in with these. Be like, Doc, something's wrong. So those are kind of cool. I have no use for them. They're very silly, but uh, I can see people having fun with these. Or if you're a big fan of Psychonauts, just setting them on your table or something. That's okay. That kind of, that was a little unpleasant. They're okay. Nothing special. Is that it? I think that might be it for the box. Let's see. We have our poster in here. If I can get it out. Yeah, that's it. So not the most items. I have to do the t-shirt. We're going to get to it, I know. But since we already spoiled the theme, let's open this up. For the Loot Gaming... You always get a poster. On, on the back it tells you about the items that are included. So the poster is usually a non-licensed generic type of thing, and that's what this is. So really no use for it. It doesn't even really resemble anything. Oh man! Okay, so on this side this is where it tells you about stuff. If I can open it. So you can see here it shows the Proto Man thing. And right here it says we featured the Mega Man version of this helmet in Loot Crate's 2014 Battle Crate. I have to go back almost three years to get the item I want. Well, that's a bummer. But everything else is here, so that's kind of cool. Oh, okay, I guess this is clever. I don't know, I never played Portal, but it says for the tie, it says... The companion cube cannot talk. If it does talk to you, please ignore any advice it may give. Now, I've heard that the cubes have people in them, and so that's why they would be telling you to not listen to the people in the cube, because they don't want you to rebel against the system. I think that's a thing. I don't know. Let's open up the shirt and see what we have. It's a very soft shirt, nice material. It's one thing they're good at. 
Very nice material. And then I guess we have... Not I guess, I just found out for sure. I thought this was a Resident Evil 7 thing, and then I saw in the back that it is. So, that's kind of cool. It's a licensed shirt. I have no interest in a particular this particular shirt, but I could see a lot of people liking it. So, I gotta give this box a thumbs up. We got this cool Proto Man little display thing. I like that a whole bunch. I like the tie. I think that's cool enough. The goggles, I guess they're okay. At least there's some kind of cool uniqueness to them. And the shirt is nice. So between the tie, the shirt, and the Proto Man, I think that makes up for the 25 bucks or whatever it is that it costs. So I think that's okay. The goggles are kind of a throw-in. Like I said, you're not going to get an actual, true, real-life value of 60 bucks out of these boxes. It's just not realistic. But if you don't feel cheated, I consider that a win, and I consider this one a win. So if you do want to check it out, go to lootcrate.com slash Anthony's Customs. Save yourself some money with discount code Anthony's Customs. And if you don't want to check it out, don't. Make sure you only sign up for months you like, by the way. I would suggest you don't sign up for the whole year for a generic crate like this, or even three months. Do it on a monthly basis, because if you if it's a box you don't, you're not interested in, you're not going to get your value out of it. So there's my advice. Do with it what you will. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. I have new videos up every day, so make sure you turn on notifications and keep collecting.